In this Madden 22 breakdown, I'm going to show you how you can actually run trips tight end with no route chemistries, no hot route master, just good old fashioned regs offense, and uh, going to show you how it's still the best offense in the game. Now, if you are new to the channel, uh, I just want to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I also want to let you know that if you want to get access to my entire trips tight end offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to that in the description. Um, the best way to get access to that is to join my Patreon membership. And the reason why is because you're not only going to get access to the entire Trips Tight End ebook and all of the additional updates that we've released, but you're also going to get access to all 15 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon, there'll be a link in the description below, and you can sign up for just $10 a month. And the cool part about it is you can cancel whenever you would like to, uh, but as long as your subscription is active, you're getting all the updates um, anything new, any new ebooks, any new uh, updates to any of the current ebooks, any exclusive tips, uh, as well as messaging platforms to be able to ask your questions. So if you want to sign up for that, again, there'll be a link in the description below. Um, all right, guys. So I got a question uh, on a recent video that I did, and the question was basically asking me, you know, hey, Cody. Uh, love the content, but I play regs, and so I don't know how to run the trips without a tight end apprentice or a hot route master. Well, we're going to show you in this video uh, a real easy way to do that. So I've got the Packers here. I'm going to put Adams at the slot, and we're going to go over my two of my favorite concepts. So the first one that we're going to run through is a play by the name of Pat's Y in, and then the, and I've talked about this before. And then the second one um, we're actually going to come out in, which is PA counter go. All right. So the other thing that you have an advantage of with regs is that regs, by and large, the defenders are significantly worse than mutt. So um, just the, the basic ratings of them. And so your offense is going to be more successful regs just based on that product alone. But we can still use certain plays within this formation to create some of the key route combinations in trips tight end and i'm going to show you how to do that in this video so the first one is pa counter go and by far my favorite favorite play in the game i'm going to give you two route combinations out of this one and then i'm going to give you one out of pat's y in for certain situations okay um what we're going to do with uh with pa counter go the first setup is we're going to flat the inside or the outside slot we're going to in, in route the outside receiver and we're going to streak the tight end now, pretty much for most defenses, this is literally the only route combination you're going to need, especially if you have Rodgers. Like, it's really, really, really good, um, this route combination. It's very good against any defense. They're going to have to have really good user and Mabel coverage uh, to be able to have an even chance. Notice that Rodgers, because he has Gunslinger and Pass Lead Elite, is probably the most roided throwing animation quarterback um, in the game. So what that's going to mean is he's going to be able to get the ball off quicker than anybody else will. And so that is part of why this team is so good. If they're playing cover three, don't sleep on that route. Rodgers throws that route better than any quarterback in the game. And then the other cool part that I didn't talk about yet is let's say they're playing purples over there on the left side. If they're playing like Mabel concept or something, what you'll be able to notice here is that the purple will suck into the in route and the flat will be open. So you've got a lot of power in this one concept to be able to beat 90% um, of what they're going to do to you defensively. You know, they're going to have to have very specific adjustments uh, to be able to defend this. So as you can see, just a very good concept. The second concept from PA Counter Go is every bit as good. What we're going to do is we're going to flat the inside or the outside slot. We're going to slant the inside slot. So we flat the outside slot, slant the inside slot, and then with a tight end, because we don't have a tight end apprentice, we're going to put him on a smart routed in route. So you see it looks like this. Now this in route is really underrated. You're going to see it gets pretty good depth, and look at where it kind of gets to on the field. Um, it gets into a really unique spot. It's going to get underneath a lot of zone coverages in the game. So one of people's very popular ways to defend trips tight end is to use... Um, to use a cover two defense. So what you're gonna notice with this is this little slant in route combination here. You see that that in route, especially if they run 30 yard cloud flats, he'll get into a spot on the field where he'll be able to get open against that. So if they're running 30 yard cloud flats, you got a really good chance of that in route uh, getting open. Uh, and then also, especially if they're running Mabel, 
same thing. It's going to get open because he's going to get he's going to have the whole middle of the field to work. Now, if he's not open, you typically are going to have this flat right there. Okay, so that's a um, real easy check down against cover two, and then I'm going to show you man coverage. So let's say they're running man coverage. Now that's where this in route is really really good. What you're going to see here is this in route against man. He really almost beats it better than the post. A little sharper cut, and, the, and he's going to get to a better corner. And because he's running flatter, he'll beat man better. And then I want to show this against Mabel real quick. So this is this is Mabel coverage. The thing about Mabel is you have the whole middle of the field to be able to work. And that's what makes it so good. So here's your setup, real simple. And then what you'll see here is against Mabel, it just really does a good job. Because uh, it still goes about 15 to 20 yards just like a post does. Now, I want to move on to our next uh, series of setups, which is centered around a post to the outside receiver. We're going to use Pat's Y in uh, for that. Now, all we're going to do with this is we're going to smart route the post. We're going to uh, zig the inside slot. We're going to slant the outside slot. So you see it looks like this. And then uh, I like to smart route the tight end, just going to make it go a little bit deeper. And then with the running back, you can do whatever you want. You can block him if you want to. Um, I typically don't. I typically put him on an out route, so I have a quick read. And this is my favorite play for man to man. So if they're going to run, um, if they're going to run man to man, this is a very very good play because we're going to force the user in the middle of the field to have to make a decision: who's he going to guard? So you're going either to your out route. No, okay. Look at this tight end route though. Very good. It's basically the same as the in route, but it's a little better. Um, and then the other cool part about this uh, Pat's Y in play is we have this skinny post which like I said a lot of people will try especially in rags because they know you don't have outside apprentice they're gonna try to defend you like this well the problem is you do have this play um, pats Y in where this post will cook cover two as you can see gets over the top of the cover two right there I threw it just a little bit early and then I'm gonna show you a bomb play um, for every cover here in just a second but again we're just gonna smart route the post we're going to slant the inside slot. Um, you could slant, you could do it like this, or you could do it like this. So if you think it's man, I'd probably go with this setup right here. If you think it's zone, then I would probably go with this setup right here, okay? Anyways, if it's cover two, you'll typically be able to hit this. You just gotta wait on it a little bit more. But there you see Rogers can make that throw, and you're gonna get over the top of the cover two. So very very good little couple concepts here. Um, I'll give you I'll give you a couple more, um, and they're more for this side of the of the field. So if you're on this side of the field, you can run your PA corner. And real simple, all you're gonna do is you're gonna streak Cobb, you're gonna zig Scantling, and then you're going to curl Tunyon. And what you're gonna see is this a great play for um, just attacking this side of the field if they're not if they don't have zone drops over there. So very, very good play for that. You have PA counter go to attack the zone drops on the right side. So you have kind of a, a two for one deal. And then verticals, one of the most underrated plays in trips tight end. You're just going to put your running back on an in route. And I mean, it's just a really, really, really good concept. They're my guy. The one thing I don't like about it is sometimes I'll run into the, to the corner. But um, as long as they don't, this is really a great play against cover three. I'm going to show you something real quick. Um, that is that you can hit this seam right there with the pass lead as kind of butchered the pass lead there. Let me show that one more time. So what you want to do is you want to pass lead this. It's actually really good um, against Mabel. But what you want to do is you want to pass lead this kind of up right in that little window right there. It's a real tiny window, but there is a window there. And if you lab it up, you'll be you know even better at hitting that. So that's verticals. Um, I hit on PA slot corner. One last thing about PA slot corner that you can do with this is you can utilize this post to cop. So if you wanted to go with a mesh post kind of setup like this, you certainly could. This is a great little concept. Most people don't run this, but I think it's one of the better, most underrated concepts um, in the game. Obviously, cover four drop, you got to have a pull route for cover four drop. But any other defense, if it's cover two, cover three, and I'll show you that real quick. Um, 
you're going to be fine. So, I mean, the, the, the bottom line is there's a lot that you can do, even if you don't have a hot route master with this offense. A lot you can do. And then there's also a bomb that you can run that is very, very effective. And I'm going to show you that right now. So that is from the play uh, Pat's White in. And the one unfortunate thing is you're not going to have great protection um, with the way I'm going to teach this. But I'm going to give you two different setups for a bomb. So this will bomb pretty much every coverage in the game. All we're going to do is we're going to smart route the post. We're going to streak the uh, outside slot. We're going to slant the inside slot. And then we're going to block our running backs. You see, this is what the play looks like. What you should see here is this post should get over the top of it. Rodgers can throw this pretty much better than anybody because he doesn't lag the ball. And as you can see, it gets over the top of cover four. And then I'm going to go to everyone's favorite defense, which is Mike Blitz 3, double Mabel. And I'll show you that it gets over that as well. The cool part is you want to save this for key moments, um, in my opinion, because... You don't want them to be blitzing. You don't want them to be blitzing you. And also, you don't want them to kind of be anticipating that there's a post, right? You want them thinking PA counter go. You want them thinking like slant post concept. But then you hit them with something like this because it looks exactly the same as your slant post with like one other small little adjustment. So that's covered three. So I went over cover four. Um, I went over cover three. Now this is cover two. And again, here's your setup. And what you'll notice is against cover two. Cover two is a lot easier to beat than cover three and cover four. But as you can see, you just absolutely crucify cover two. The other cool part about cover two is we're going to be able to beat this. Um, we're going to be able to beat this with a inside third to the middle linebacker. I'll show that real quick. So Pat's YM. Same exact setup. And I have a deep third on the middle linebacker. And what you'll see is that deep third will still get pulled back. And you can hit this kind of right in there. So that's cover four, cover three, cover two. And then I'll show match real quick. And then I'll show man to man. Now match and man to man are kind of the same uh, in terms of how they're going to play this. Because all the routes are vertical. But oftentimes this post will get open. Um, here he doesn't. If you want to really get this open, put Adams over there. It's an easy way to, to solve a problem because really it comes down to how good is the route running. Um, how good is that guy's route running? Okay. And that time he beats him. There you see it. And again, that was cover four. Uh, cover four match. And then lastly, I want to show you... Um, I, guess, I mean, we can go over cover two man, but just trust me, it's going to get open against cover two man. The better defense, honestly, is cover one with shaded up. But I'll show that real quick. Let me just block the running back. You can honestly put the running back on anything, or you can block him. Here you see, you let him just run open, pass lead inside, and you see it beats cover one. And it beats cover two as well because cover two is going to defend like cover two. Cover two man defends like cover two zone, right? So the deep halves, they'll get out of the way. So the bottom line is this is a very, very good play, okay? Um, it's an everything. It's what we call an everything beater. It literally beats every coverage in the game. It's very difficult to guard this concept. Now I want to show you a second secondary way to run this, which is going to get you a little bit better pass protection, specifically against a uh, cover three blitz. So this is a cover three blitz here. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to go to Pat's YN. We're going to still streak the outside slot. We're going to smart route the post, slant the circle receiver. And then what I like to do is we're going to um, block our tight end. When we block our tight end, we want to slide to the right. And then we're going to wheel our running back. So you see, this is what it looks like. Now, most people are kind of accustomed to seeing this concept. Now, I will say there, that's a little fluky pressure. So I'll show that. I'll run that back. You don't have to slide to the right. If you're worried about pressure, you really don't have to slide to the right. One thing I want to show just real quick is the fact that we're blitzing six versus most people are going to be blitzing uh, seven. So, again, I'll just do this. They're going to stand right here, right? And then they're going to kind of bail back. So you see it does pick it up. So that's all I wanted to show. Okay. So you're going to be able to pick up the blitz. Um, 
to illustrate and kind of simulate the shed pressure, we're going to still run that blitzing concept, but now we're going to uh, put our user in a in a spy just to try to simulate the, the edge pressure. Again, you're sh sliding and then you're you're doing that. If you want to double team here, you certainly can. Um, but anyways, so you'll see, as long as you don't get shedded, that's still gonna beat over the get over the top of cover three. Now we'll say it's a little trickier against a, a, a blitzing set like this, because, I mean, just the reality is, you know, the, the likelihood of you getting shedded does go up because they're setting five. There's one on ones across the board, so. That is something that you need to be aware of. But I will also say, like, practice mode is a little bit unrealistic in terms of sheds. They shed at a higher rate, okay? So, but but let's go through the coverages and just show that the bomb concept does work. Obviously, you also, real quick, you want to look at your wheel, right? Your wheel is the best route in the game. So look at your wheel. If your wheel is open, hit it. You can lowball that pretty much against anything. Um, make them have to respect your wheel route is all I wanted to say about that. It really is important. And then also, so let's say it's cover three. It's one of the best ways to kill cover three. You'll see the third just gets absolutely abused. And we can throw this post over the top. So the bottom line is you can run this offense without hot route master and still be very effective. Um, this setup out of out of um, verticals is still really good. Um, it's an oldie but a goodie. It's curl the inside slot. Uh, hitch this guy the outside slot Zig the outside receiver and then take the running back and you really can do a couple things with him You can wheel him you can put streak him you could put him on an out route You could curl the tight end and wheel the running back, which is probably my favorite way to run this and This is still a really really good play and as you can see right there your hitch is going to be open, you know um, Nine times out of ten you can also still run this out of PA counter go if I can find it. Um, you can still run this setup out of, I think drive post is probably better, um, but you can run this out of PA counter go where you flat the in outside slot, you in route the outside receiver, you slant the inside slot, and then you put this guy on a smart routed in route. Very good setup, still a really good red zone setup. And oftentimes a slant is gonna be wide open over here. So the point is, Trust me when I say, like, really when you're using a Howard Master, especially for a trip tight end, primarily, especially if you're using a tight end apprentice, you're mainly using it for a crosser or a post to the tight end. With Pat's Y in, you kind of have that. So what you can now do is you can say, okay, well, we're going to run this. And this is one of the best setups in the game, by the way. Um, you could also, um, you know, put Adams on the outside and have a post attached to this. But, you know, this is a great little concept. Notice that Ghost Rod just absolutely hold the zone, and you're able to get this to that guy. So, a little bit of a longer video, kind of almost a free little mini ebook on Trips Tight End with no Hot Route Master. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want more um, tips and tricks on how to get better at the game, subscribe to the channel. If you want the full Trips Tight End ebook and you want to get access to everything, join our Patreon. There's a link in the description where you can sign up for just $10 a month. Remember, the cool part about the Patreon is you don't only get access to one of my eBooks, but you get access to all of them. Every eBook I've already done, which is 15 eBooks, any eBook I'm gonna do, which we've got a couple that I'm working on right now, and then also any updates to any of those guides in general, as well as private messaging where you can get your questions answered. So if you want to join the Patreon, there's a link in the description below where you can sign up for just 10 bucks.